God bless you. I am going to read now some of the praise reports that have came in just in the last couple of days and also some of the prayer requests that have come in as well. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you for this time. We ask you to bless, anoint us, and speak your words through us in the name of Jesus. We give you all the glory, Father, in the name above every name. And we all said, Amen. And I love the smell of this oil. Thank you, Jesus. Um, praise report from Lauren. Pray for me. Praise report. She says her praise report is last week uh, changed her life as she felt so under the weather. This is a young college student. Uh, she says, I opened my Bible yesterday for the first time in a long time and just meditated. I've also just prayed and have been watching teachings. And do you know, before last week, I was a spiritual burnout like for a year. I give God all the glory and I'm so thankful. Now her prayer request is, pray for me. I start my fall semester at my university next month with like prayers for safety, growth, and all that God knows what I need. But this is also for every university across America and the world. As this year starts up, I li I'd like you to join me in prayer for every student across the globe. Thank you, Jesus. Anyway, have a great week. I love you. Thanks for everything. Lauren, you have spoken out of your mouth. As I see Saul, the Lord asked him, what would you have? He said, I just want your wisdom. So God blessed him abundantly. So Lauren, also I speak into your life prophetically what the Holy Spirit shows me, that you are going to be set up by the Lord as I'm going to say uh, the word ruler comes into my spirit. You see, God sets up his rulers, his leaders, his people of authority. And age doesn't matter to God because even David was out tending the sheep when the prophet came in and said, but there is one more son. And the father said, but he's so young and he's out, out with the sheep. And the Lord said, bring him in. So God says to you, Lauren, I bring you in. I am going to use you in a great way in this final hour. And it shall not only be unto the end of this age, but I shall continue to use you even so in the millennium. You shall see and reap a great harvest for me. For this is the hour. Great is the darkness across the land. And I cover your prayer requests. I am blessing you abundantly. I am granting you favor, grace, unmerited favor with all of your classes, all of your instructors. You shall turn and you shall find students beside you, to the left, to the right. Even so, the instructors shall come to you and they shall say, what is this, Lauren, that is about you? What is it that we are feeling around you? And it shall start as a small little rock, a little pebble that would be tossed into the water. But yet it shall spring forth and multiply, 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 and snowball, snowball, snowball in a greater, greater, greater way. Right where you are, it shall begin. And it shall cover the lands across the waters, across the waters. It shall cover, it shall multiply, it shall magnify, and you shall see great things I shall do through you, saith the Lord of hosts to you, Lauren. Thank you, Jesus. 
praise report from Sherry. I sent you a prayer request for a teaching job in Arkansas. I didn't get the job, but God's plan took me to a high school in Little Rock. I sent a text this past week, Wednesday, to a former colleague to ask if I may use him as a reference. He told me his school needed a physical science teacher. I filled out an application and he called the principal. I interviewed on Thursday and was offered the position. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for praying for me. Hugs to you, my sister in Christ, Sherry. Sherry, I'm speaking prophetically now into your life. Thank you, Jesus. What the Holy Spirit shows me, Sherry, over you is God is going to use you right where you are. He is going to draw the students with big questions that they cannot ask their parents at home. They can't even ask in some situations at home. There are no parents. There are just people living together. And then there, there is a student God is going to have come up to you that is very bright, very brilliant, very curious, a lot of questions. He's going to be asking you big questions. So rejoice and be glad, for this is not coincidence that you have been selected for this position. That This is a divine choice placement by the Holy Spirit himself. And he says, great shall be the reward for you, Sherry, for you has, have submitted to me where I would place you, and so it be, I place you where I will place you. And great shall be the reward, and you shall come home in the evenings, grading the papers with tears, seeing the advancement, the hope in the lives that I shall speak to through you, Sherry. Thank you, Jesus. What an awesome word. Thank you, Lord. We praise you. We give you all the glory in the name of Jesus. Okay, the other thing that came up that I do want to address, there was a uh, prayer request uh, from Judith that I want to find here. Just one second. Judith, here it is. Judith is 11 weeks pregnant. Judith wrote me and said that she is experiencing some things that she's not happy about. I am 11 weeks pregnant. I've just started spotting light pink blood. I have had very stressful weeks leading up to this, and I pray that everything is okay. I don't have insurance, but just called a doctor, and I'm waiting for them to call me back. Please pray for me, love, Judith. Judith, in the name of Jesus, Father God, we thank you. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for this child that is within her womb. We speak to this life in her, and we say, rise up. You know, the word the Lord gives me is when there was a child that died. Do you remember that story? Jesus walked in and he sat down and they said, but if you would have got here sooner, they said, the little girl is dead. The Lord says, Tabitha Kumi, rise so God says to this child in you, rise in the name of Jesus. We speak that you would live and not die for the glory of God, that it would be a testimony, a testimony of a miracle working God in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father God. And the stressful situations that she has been feeling, Father, that have been leading up to this event. We take your large eraser, Lord. We erase everything, everything, everything that is stressful. Father, you know exactly what people need to be erased. You know exactly what situations need to be removed. So we speak in love, your rod of 
correction. You know, I don't know why God uses that word because rod is something that you would correct with. It's a chastening. It is a, a it's a disciplining, actually. Now, I'm not saying God is disciplining you. Possibly this is someone around you that needs disciplining, that's an abusive person, a relationship that needs to be corrected. I don't know, but that is what God is showing me. And I know my Father's words. I know His heart. And it is all spoke in love, in Jesus' name. Okay, I want to speak also to one urgent request. Brittany writes in August 8, so this is three days. Excuse me, Brittany. I would like to make an urgent prayer request for my best friend and prayer warrior, Johnny. He was hit by a car while walking into a store. He knew the guy, so he didn't want to go to the hospital. I just now got the call, and I'm going to his house. He says it's hard to move. My five-year-old yelled into the phone, Johnny, I'm bringing my own bottle of prayer oil. I love my kids. They don't mind getting out of bed, getting dressed to go pray and lay hands on the sick to watch them recover. It's my job to teach them to believe in Jesus because this world will teach them not too much. That's what I believe she was wanting to say. Thank you and God bless you. Father God, we speak into Johnny, into his body, in the name of Jesus. Father God, you know exactly the soreness, whatever it is, Father, that is going on. Father, we speak your total, complete healing. If there are headaches, if there are dreams of this occurrence, whatever is the residue is the word the Lord puts in me to say to you. The residue. We place your presence over him for we know he loves you lord we know he is saved we know he has your peace in his heart father we also say to Brittany and for her children that we speak your blessing over their lives in the name of jesus we speak your blessing, your peace, changing and reversing whatever needs to be changed, Father, adding and renewing whatever needs to come into their life, removing the old, bringing in the new, in the name of Jesus. And now, Father God, I thank you, Lord Jesus, as I speak into those that are watching by your Holy Spirit, Lord. There's those that are wanting to be baptized in the Holy Spirit. So, Father God, I ask that you bless them with this gift in the name of Jesus. As I impart to them, you impart to them your Spirit. For we are one in the Spirit. For out of the mouth it flows. Out of the heart the mouth speaks. It comes right out of your tantian, your center of your being. And as you give up your tongue and you say, I bless you, Father God, just begin blessing him. And as it comes with baby words, it's just fine but it will come naturally and automatically when it is by the Holy Spirit. And you don't have to wonder if someone is going to laugh at you because it's not about them anyway. It's just about you and the Holy Spirit. And he is real. He would say to you, I am real. 
I am pouring out into you, filling you to the ends of your fingertips. I shall baptize you. You shall feel the electricity. You shall feel the wave of my presence. You shall know it is me. And I shall speak to you in the night, waking you, alarming you, and using you for the great purpose. Thank you, Jesus. God is going to begin not only baptizing you, but using you to the fullness of that which he has for you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Someone is experiencing a bad sore throat and right under here, it's like you've got, your ears are aching. Everything is aching, aching. It goes in the name of Jesus. We place the oil on you in proxy. All of those symptoms of that head cold goes. That sore throat leaves. For where the Spirit of God is, there is liberty. And it fills you. It overflows you. God says, I'm blessing. Somebody's watching. You're going to get an inheritance this month. It's going to come at a time when you're least expecting it. God says, it's time. It's time. It's time. And he says, I'm going to bless you so that you will bless the nations. For surely, it will be of no surprise to you when it happens, for I have spoken it to you long ago, and you are just now standing in that place of receiving. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit, we thank you. We praise you. A car accident someone's been in. You're having, there's head injuries, problems. We thank you, Lord, as you touch that head now in the name of Jesus. The vision returns. The vision was affected. The memory was affected. God says, I am healing you. I heal you now. Something going on with someone's immune system. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father God. You heal that too. That's totally healed. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes, it's, it's washing over somebody. The Lord's presence is just like washing over you washing over you. You feel like you're having a bath and you're not even in water. God says, I'm covering you now. I'm renewing you with my spirit. This is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. And it shall surely be an extension to those I place in front of you this day. You shall see. There shall be no doubt in your mind when it happens. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to release that now as God releases us for the day. I love you so very much. Thank you for your prayers, your financial support always. I praise the Lord for that. We have a work to do, you and me, in Jesus' name. Until he comes, we keep our hand to the plow in everything we do. In the name, the most wonderful name of all, Jesus Christ. Have a blessed, wonderful day in him.
hat. <lacht>